Hey guys. How are you today? Good. Great, I'm with the city police. Reason for the traffic stop. For Officer Ben Snyder, this is the first step in making sure Traverse City stays a safe place. He's a piece of the puzzle in the department's crime prevention unit, specifically looking for narcotics. It's a big task, but he doesn't work alone. He gets a little agitated when I get out of the car without him. He does those like spins in the back seat when we're driving. Um, that's just kind of like his drive, kind of overpouring, like, hey, Dad, I want to go do stuff. Let's do it now. And when he can't do stuff, he spins. That's K-9 Officer Kilo, Snyder's patrol partner. Kilo is trained to detect illegal drugs like... Any narcotics in the vehicle? No. Any nope. heroin, meth, no. ecstasy, no. No. cocaine? No. no. Okay. Substances police say they want to keep out of the community, which is why the department invests in its canine program with upgrades to Kilo and his handler's ride. The driver's side here has uh, ghost lettering with the caution canine stay back just kind of to stick out. Um, just to let people know that there is a canine inside. Uh, my specific decals are like that uh, because of my specialty um, being a narcotics canine handler. It's oftentimes advantageous to be a little bit more covert. Um, so that's why mine looks a little bit more hidden and under the radar. Staying under the radar and going undetected, Officer Snyder explains it's not so much about watching cars as it is the drivers and how they react to seeing the police vehicle. Are you willing to let me search the car if I wanted to? Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. Kilo doesn't make an appearance at every traffic stop, but Officer Snyder will bring Kilo out for what he calls a detailed sniff around the car. All right, seats. Wasn't lying about the dog, right? Hey, seats. Search. At this stop, Kilo doesn't detect any narcotics, but that doesn't mean they aren't in the community. And Traverse City Police say they're focused on taking those preventative steps to find them. In Traverse City, Allie Baxter, Up North Live News.